today on my channel at the Starlings. Today I thought I'd bring you a day in the life since I already have my camera out today. I'm working on um, showing you what's in our morning basket, what's new there. So I thought I would just take you along for the whole day. We just ate breakfast. We're about to have our morning basket time. Then we're gonna have some time of kind of tidying up, doing some homemaking, and then we'll continue with the rest of our homeschool day. So come along and I'll show you what I'm doing today. Put down for a nap. Okay, now let's listen. Now Jesus is gonna explain the parable to his disciples, okay? Yes. Let's listen. Dum, dum, dum. And when his disciples asked him what this parable meant, he said, to you it has been given to know the secrets of the kingdom of God. But for others, they are in parables, so that seeing they may not see, and hearing they may not understand. Now the parable is this. The seed is the word of God. The ones along the path are those who have heard. Then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. And the ones on the rock are those who, when they hear the word, receive it with joy. But these have no root. They believe for a while and in time of testing fall away. And as for what fell among the thorns, they are those who hear, but as they go on their way, they are choked by the cares and riches and pleasures of life and their fruit does not mature. What? As for that in the good soil, they are those who hearing the word, hold it fast in an honest and good heart and bear fruit with patience. Is your life good soil that is ready for the seed of God's word? Yes. Yes, think so? Yes, I'm praying that it is, that when you hear God's word, that it would truly take root in your heart. Okay, so let's pray and ask the Lord to help us with this. Who's trying to pray? It's Piper. Piper's going to pray, okay? Piper's going to pray. Okay, let's bow our head, close our eyes, come, come before, before the Lord, Lord in fear and reverence. In fear and reverence. Okay, go ahead, Piper. Lord, this is the day that you have made. We will rejoice, rejoice and be glad in it. Yes, Lord, please give us glad hearts today. down for a little nap and then get a snack going for the girls. It's going real simple today with strawberries and some Greek yogurt and a little bit of honey for the girls' smoothie. Trying to get more fruit into them, more good stuff. So that's what we're going to have, more whole food ingredients. Hopefully they'll enjoy it. And this is for all three, so. Okay, 
right, so I've got my kitchen kind of tidied up. We're getting ready to start the rest of our school day. But before we do that, I wanna answer the question, what's for dinner? I wanna make sure I have a plan for that. So I'm gonna show you kind of my thought process on that. So I have been keeping an inventory kind of each month of what all I have available. So I'm circling the things that need to get used up and then I make my kind of meal plan for the month based off of that. I write down all the available meals that I could make this month. So I kind of write all of that out and I start crossing them off as things get used up. So right here in the middle, this Thai red curry with chicken. Um, I think I'm gonna make that. I have some leftover smoked chicken that we made. Um, so I'm gonna add that to it and make this Thai red curry chicken that my husband really likes. So we'll have that with rice tonight. Now let's start with eight and count backward by two. Eight, eight six, six, four, four two, two, zero. zero. Right? Zero. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And there's four more left. It says mmm, you're right. That's very good. Mm. What letter is it? A. M. M. Um, L. L, very good. Oh, you have it. No, no, no. Nope, I want it right here. Okay. This one? Uh, um, B. What letter? B. P. 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 Just like penguin. Mm -hmm. For Piper. Mm -hmm. Next. What letter? Z. Mm -mm. N. 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 Uh, um, w. W. Very good. Very good. This one? Cross. <laughs> it looks like a cross, but what letter is it? This is a cross. Yes, but it's a little, what? Cross. T. 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 For channel. Mm-hmm. All right, it's lunchtime. It's gonna be peanut butter and jelly and some apples for lunch. One did not want hers cut. And I can hear the boys waking up, so they'll be ready for their lunch too. Here's my lunch, some quiche Lorraine some apples, and a little bit of kimchi. <laughs> Doing some copy work and a crown. A crown? <laughs> what kind of crown? It's a pencil, it? not a crown. No, a crown on your head. Wait. Hey, I don't remember this. <laughs> <laughs> These Simply Charlotte Mason Copy books have been really awesome. She's enjoying mm -hmm. writing those, right? Mm -hmm. For your handwriting time? Yeah. Yeah, look at our orchids blooming. Mm -hmm. There are There's so many of them. Has to bloom. Yep, we have Does another one that's going to bloom. There were no flowers on this uh, like a month ago or so. And now they're all over it, aren't they? Mm -hmm. It's awesome. Everly wants to tell about this caterpillar that we found. Okay, tell us about it. It's like if what was it? We can it's it's a caterpillar and mm -hmm. it's gonna turn into a moth. Mm -hmm. It's like scratching on the cup right now. Mm -hmm. Where did we find it? We found it at church. It was like crawling around on the ground. 
<laughs> and when we came back out, I went to get a cup to put it in and put some leaves and grass in there. And while we were waiting a while at home with it in the cup, it started eating one of the leaves in there. Mm -hmm. And then what did it do? Then uh, when it started getting dark and in the morning, um, it started turning into a chrysalis. It had a leaf on top of it while it was doing it. Can I see? Can mm -hmm. I see? Can I see? Super cool. Uh -huh. Can I see? So we're going to keep it and see if it mm -hmm. will turn into a moth. Mm -hmm. right? Can I see? It's cool. Okay, this is the boys' room. So I thought while no one is in here, I'll go ahead and pick this up really quick. that Everly's been doing. She's in first grade from Simply Charlotte Mason and they have been so fun. She's really doing a great job with reading them, right? Mm -hmm. And she's enjoying the stories, right? Mm -hmm. And the stories will, as you go further in the book, it'll reference other stories that she's already read. And she is just really enjoying mm -hmm. reading this together. So... We definitely recommend these readers from Simply Charlotte Mason. All right, we're finished with school, so I'm going to get started on dinner. Just get a little bit of a head start with my Thai chicken coconut curry. It's a red Thai curry. Um, probably not super authentic, but it uses some really good Thai-inspired um, ingredients. So... I'm gonna get started on that and it can just sit on the stove and simmer for a while and it'll be great by the time it's time for dinner. So that's the plan right now. The girls are watching a Spanish video from Homeschool Pop um, on YouTube on the TV in the living room. So, and my son is saying more, asking for a snack. So I'm gonna grab him a snack and then it's time for him to take a nap. I'm going to get started on dinner. And then we'll see what happens the rest of the day. I'm going to be kind of winging this recipe a little bit. But I'm fine with that. I just want to use up some things that I have. So I have this red curry paste. I have this mayploy sweet chili sauce. Some fish sauce. Some soy sauce. Coconut milk. I have this vegetable medley that my husband does not love as a side. Um, for, with dinners, but it has the the ingredients in it, broccoli, green beans, carrots, red peppers, wax beans, and yellow peppers. That works really well for curry. So I used it last time I made this, and he really liked it. So I'm going to use that again for that, and that uses up the last bag of that that I have, and then I've got an onion. I got a little tiny bit of garlic left. Need to get some more, and then a couple of carrots, 
So that's all gonna go in there. I'm gonna cook some chicken breast in it as well. I'm gonna cook it all in some coconut oil. And then I'm gonna put some basil, some bay leaf, and some lime in it as well. So that's what we got going on. is done is ready to go so that's good so I'm having my afternoon cup of coffee and everyone is just resting and relaxing the boys are down for their second nap and everyone's just kind of hanging out. So I'm working on something foster care related um, for our foster baby, just something that I have to uh, turn in. Um, so I'm working on that, and then I'm going to work on my blog for a little bit. I've been updating my blog, um, and it's looking much better, uh, much more professional and I've had to take down all of my posts and I'm having to redo those, but especially my recipes, that's the main things that are visited on my blog for right now. Um, I'm redoing those, um, but I'm getting them back up in a much better format and they will be printable and all of that stuff. So it's going to be much, much better, but it just takes a lot of time to get those posts up, put all the recipes back on there that I had on there, and I've got some new ones coming up as well. So just working on all of that right now for a little bit. My husband should be home very soon, and then we'll have time to just kind of hang out together as a family, and that will probably be our evening. So I'm just setting up the table for dinner. I hear babies crying, ready to get up. So I'm going to feed them, get our dinner set out on the table, and then we'll just be hanging out the rest of the evening. So 
that will wrap up this day in the life. Thanks for hanging out with me today, joining me for all of our homeschooling and some homemaking and some working, some other things that I was doing. Thanks for hanging with me and I'll see you next time. Thank you.